Okay, in this model, a good friend of mine uh, made this model for me, um, but somehow the level of detail either got saved wrong or didn't get created correctly, and so all three levels of detail are actually exactly the same, and they're all high resolution. So what we're going to do is we're going to poly reduce or brush reduce in this case um, the levels one and two. So zero is always the highest resolution, and I can come down here and show you this. I move quickly by scrolling the mouse uh, mouse wheel. I move slowly by using the WSAD controls and. So this is uh, zero. So this is the highest level of detail, and we'll leave it exactly like it is. It's just right. And then this is the medium level of detail, which happens to look exactly like the highest level of detail. So we'll be reducing this one a little bit. Uh, this will be the medium resolution. And then the lowest resolution we will probably reduce significantly. And it will no longer look like this when we're done but it will save on rendering in the game. So, here's what we want to do. Um, we'll start with the middle resolution, and we go to Brushes, so we click, and this helps us see what do we have. I want to take out these windows, um, because they add a lot of extra brushes and we're just going to make this a solid wall and so here's how I'm going to do that so I see here, 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 here so I just click, delete, click, delete, click, delete and then now that I've got this open wall I'm going to switch to faces and I'm going to select uh oh, we have a little problem here haven't we that is actually a solid ceiling instead of what it should be. We've got a side wall here. We'll use that. And we'll pull that out. And pull that over here all the way closed. Now we have removed... Try not to cross into the other wall too much. Now we remove those windows. Okay, I think we can do this again. Yeah, we have a solid bar there, so we can remove these. And that's a solid wall. We don't want to damage the integrity of the building too much. Like I might have just done there. We'll see what happens here. So I'm going to come over here. Yeah, that looks okay. And we're just going to switch to faces again and pull this wall across. I need to back up a little so I can see what I'm doing. Hmm, I hit the wrong one. So we undo. Come on, give me the correct. There we go. And we pull that closed. Get in here for a good look. Yeah, there's a little gap in there. We don't want those gaps. Those cause little problems. Okay, now that's all closed off, so we got rid of those brushes. We might even be able to actually... Yeah, we can remove one more brush actually here, so we're going to delete that too. Aha, and look at that. See all those brushes in there? We don't need to actually see these. The player is never going to see inside this building from 100 yards away. So, we're actually going to remove all of these stairs which add a lot of brushes, and we're going to move these interior walls as well. And these weird little ceiling blocks that probably were over a doorway. And there's some more stairs, we'll get rid of those. So just you know, make sure you're in brushes, of course. Select and delete, click delete, click delete, click delete, click delete, click delete, click delete. And poof, they're all gone. These we are probably going to leave, however, because they are visible from far away. Um, 
Then we come back here, we go to faces, and we continue the removal of that brush that we started by pulling this closed. And just like that. Now then, all those are removed, and we have a fairly good medium detail. I think we're going to remove this too. Yeah, there's a lot of polygons here. So, I think I might want to leave this door open, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of some of these extra polygons. Um, so I'm going to leave this straight piece, and then just delete the little ones. Like that. And then we come back to our faces, and we pull this up here. And we're not looking for perfection here, remember, because this isn't what the player is going to be walking around in. This is just from far away. So it needs to approximate the high resolution. It doesn't need to exactly mimic it. The player is only going to see this from maybe... They might see it from this far away, like this. Um, they're not going to be seeing this from really close. When they get really close, it'll pop to the higher resolution, and then uh, they'll be able to inspect it just fine. And I need to... There we go. Fix my scroll wheel there. It seems to run out of scroll after a while. So, there we go. That looks pretty good. Uh, we can probably remove this, I think. Remove one of these walls. So I think we can remove both of these because they are removed in our other medium details also of our other stands. I don't think that matters. So there's our medium resolution. I have quite a few stairs in here. could probably get rid of a few more brushes in these steps. Like, right there. So... Maybe. Those seem to go all the way to the ground, don't they? That does make it harder. Yeah, we'll try it. See if we can get rid of some overhead here. Where does that one go? Okay, so there's a small one. And there's a small one. And then we'll take this face and pull it forward. Like that. And I need to see this from the side. There we go. Okay, pulled forward. Now then, that looks pretty good. Again, this is approximating, it is not exact, so we don't need perfection here. And that will reduce a few more brushes so it's easier on the engine. And then we want to save. So we're s make sure you're on the one that you're working on. And then save this. We also want to check the scene. We're going to drop that down to 50. So this is what we'll display when it's at 50 pixels. Now I need to save that again.